Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Curry Sauce from the Mod Zoo here. And today, we are going to do a quick unboxing of the new Ozio Armado keyboard. So this is something new that just came out, and I know in the past, Ozio has made keyboards, you know, featuring knockoff cherry switches, plastic frames. Guess what? All that is gone. This is the real deal. You're getting cherry switches and all metal body. So let's take a quick look inside and see what we think about it. So guys, here it is, so let's open the box. Even the quality of the plastic is better. Again, it doesn't matter. So let's get the keyboard out. Let's look at that in a minute. Here it is in full glory. So, one of the features this board has, you have recordable macros, so you, you can record up to five different macros if you're into that kind of stuff. Depending on the game you're playing, you can do all that. You get your function keys on the top, pretty standard. One of the features that I want to see in most boards, because that's how I am, is dedicated audio buttons. Forward, you know, rewind, pause, backwards, mute, and then a nice metal volume control. Now again, this is not plastic, this is metal here. So as I was saying, this keyboard features cherry switches, so let's just pull the key out. And you know what, I'll just do this one. So you have... Captain actual... Curry, where did you get that cool key remover? Uh, the keyboard comes with one. <gasps> so yes, Ozzy is nice enough that they include a little key removal tool with their keyboards so in the event you want to replace the keycaps you can do that now other thing I should mention about this keyboard is this keyboard does not have RGB so if you're an RGB fan sorry this keyboard is not for you so this keyboard as you can tell by the color scheme again all metal metal perforations all aluminum construction this is a perfect board for a red and black theme. Uh, the backlighting on this board is red. And the keyboard also features a nice uh, sleeved, it's a paracord sleeve, USB cable with Ozio logo on one side and a little keyboard emblem on the other. So in the event you get confused what's what, that is covered. Quickly looking at the back, you want the back has a nice finish to it. You get a couple of rubber feet so it's not sliding all over your desk. And if you need to increase the height, pop open the little stands to adjust the height. And even the stand ends are rubberized. So your keyboard is not gonna slip. So let's see what happens when we plug the board in. So this is how the keyboard boots up. So your brightness control. Oops. Captain Curry, are there any lighting effects on the keyboard? Yes, there's breathing. And again, I'm just pressing buttons here. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, where you press in. The light comes on and slowly fades off. So it has a couple modes. Uh, let's try this one. What is this? Looks like that is off. No, that is for setting up your customs. And then on off. So I'm going to go back to the standard mode. How do I do that there? Of course, I need to figure out how this works. <laughs> Now let's say if you're somebody who likes to have wrist pads with your keyboards, the keyboard comes with one. The back side has nicely some nice words for you. Stay elegantly fierce. 
Do you have rubber padding so it doesn't slip? And if you wonder how does this attach, well, done. Magnetic wrist pads. So if you don't want it, easy to take it out, easy to put it on, there's no clips, there's no screws. Good to go. So guys, this is it. A quick overview of the Ozio Armado mechanical keyboard featuring Cherry MX Brown switches and all metal construction. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, leave a comment in the bottom. Please subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for the full review of this keyboard on the modsu.com. Captain Curry out. Go mod something. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs>